Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Wednesday the 25th of July. Uh, go through one of our potential fifth wave trade signals um, that our members get every day. And just to remind uh, those that are new seeing this video, our members get potential long and short fifth wave trades every day on the weekly, the daily and the 60 minute time frame. We also get stochastic longs and shorts on intraday time frames. Um, for example, on the long fifth wave trades, um, again the fifth wave of an Elliott wave sequence is the highest probability move in a trend and that's what we're looking for. So our members simply click on the image each day and download the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet for today for longs look something like this. At the bottom we've got the tabs for weekly, daily and 60 minute time frames. I'm going to be looking at um, FCAU today on the weekly time frame potential long because it has earnings before the bell today and we've had some good lifts on earnings in previous um, cycles. So I'm going to look at that chart today, set that potential long up um, for using the our LE wave indicator suite. So this is the chart for FCAU on the weekly. Uh, I'm using the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from Wave5Trade.com for the NinjaTrader NT8 version uh, platform, but it's also available for MultiCharts, TradeStation, and Think or Swim. So if we look a little bit of a ob few observations on here, uh, FCAU for this whole year, sort of uh, 2016. Uh, was pretty range bound, didn't really do much. We've got a slight little lift um, at the beginning of 2017 and then it went pretty flat again. But this is when we start to really start to gather some momentum. As earnings cycles start to come in and we get a big lift. So I've isolated the wave count uh, on this shorter uh, range bound period here at the low and then our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite has automatically labeled this with the Elliott waves one, two, three, and then the wave four. And the recent um, plateau here, range bound period, was preceding another earnings lift. So, as you can see, we're getting some good lifts after earnings, not immediately, uh, but I wanted to put this on just in case we get another one of these big runs uh, for a few weeks here. This is a weekly uh, time frame, remember, so each candle is a week. Uh, so if we get really good earnings this time, it may just push through. So I just wanted to make sure that we go quite aggressive on the entry here. But first of all, let's just zoom in on here and just discuss the basic filters for our uh, for our stock scanner membership here. So first of all, on the weekly, we can see we've had this profit taking pullback and we found support on this wave for uh, in the amber zone of our probability pullback zones here. So the amber is an 80% probability. If you find support here and moves away, we are going to get a, an 80% probability it's going to go on and hit our target zone here around about $27. The next one, the next item that we look at with the filter for the scanner is one of our indicators is the 535 oscillator down here, this this the, the top of the two subcharts. That's pulled back on the wave four between uh, 90 and 140%, which is really good. And then the bottom sub chart again another filter is that we've got a strong bullish trend denoted by these yellow dots in the over, overbought zone here denoting a strong bullish move and then the stochastics pulled back against that and crossed over in the oversold zone so the likelihood is it wants to return it's like an elastic band it wants to return to those yellow dots to that strong bullish trend so what we what we do then is look for the entry now again we've got earnings before the bell today on the 25th of July so what we want to do is just be quite aggressive on the entry just in case we get one of these big weeks one of these big lifts from uh, from earnings here so I've gone for a, just over the 20 21 dollar mark here 2106 so we're above this recent pivot way above it uh, so above the whole 21 dollar mark here and then the stop loss is just below the wave for about 1825 something like that I think uh, you know 1820, 1825, that sort of stop loss. But that gives us a great risk reward of one to two into our target zone there. And if we get uh, a similar sort of reaction here, you know, we get this four week reaction, big bullish move here. I'm not saying it's going to happen, it may go the other way, but we've got to be ready. And the whole point of trading 
and trading that fifth wave is setting up these sensible entry strategies in case we get that catalyst for a big move and we're in it and you've got to be in it to win it so uh, with the, our stock signals membership we've got this signal for a potential fifth wave move uh, just a little bit of chart craft going back looking at these range bound periods looking at reactions to earnings uh, and then putting this together um, from the signals so we've got an entry at 2106 on fiat chrysler uh, to go long uh, to potential target of 27 there and then the stop loss around about 1822 something like that uh, so very very simple setup there we may get that catalyst from earnings today and it may push up it may not but we've just got to be ready for that so the order has got to be on at 2106 to go long okay so that's it for today fcau on the weekly time frame potential earnings play there um, but uh, you know rich originally coming from our stock scanners membership so that's it for today have a great training day and speak to you all tomorrow